wealth in life has a lot to do with being happy in life, and being happy in life has a lot to do with being successful. So being successful has a lot to do with giving people something that they want, something of value, you know, that you can sell or whatever that they want you for, or may at least just make you feel good for. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to give you a piece of advice here. It's not a... I, it's not something that a lot of people want to think is true, but it is. This is unfortunately the way it is with people. If you want to be liked by people, social media, whatever, or if you want to sell a product, if you want to uh, have a business that's successful, if you're in a party, you want somebody to like you, whatever, it, the, it's all the same. It all comes down to this. Before you say anything, before you do anything, just realize that most people, the moment you open your mouth, What's going to make them be interested in you or be bored and just want to disappear somehow is they're going to always think, and I know you don't want to, this is not a fun thought to have, but they're always going to think, what do I get out of it? If, if, if what do, what's in it for me? That's how people think. Life is short. They're fast. They're like, come on, get to the point. What do I get out of this? If they don't get anything out of it, they're on to the next thing. They're not going to be interested in you. And I'm sorry. I know, I know you're going to say, oh, that's not me. I, I, I am interested in those other people. Now, yeah, to some degree, we are interested in other people's stories, but ultimately most decisions we make are what do I get out of it? Now, it could be a selfish thing. It could be an instant gratification thing. It could be like, uh, you know, will that piece of cake make me feel good? Or it could be, can I get money out of it? Or can I, does it just going to make me feel good about myself? Whatever it is, people think, what do I get out of it? What's in it for me? So whenever you start a conversation with someone, you want people to like you on social media, whatever it is, it's all the same. Ask yourself, does it answer their question, what do I get out of it, what's in it for me? That's what it boils down to for most the bottom line, I mean long term with people is they want their lives to have some kind of progress. They want to get something, like they don't want to waste their time. So don't waste people's time by telling this long, boring story about yourself. People ultimately don't, you know, who's the person that you hate the most at a party? A person that just talks about themselves, right? Boring, but a person that is quiet and listens to you, or a person that asks you questions and seems interested about you, those are the people you like. Why? Because you like to talk about, or not you, obviously, but most people like to talk about themselves. They want to feel like it's about them. I, don't, I know you're above that, but I'm talking about most people out there. So when you talk to people, keep that in mind. They don't care about you. They care about themselves. They care about where they're going in life and what they can get out of it and what's in it for them. So that's what it boils down to. It's not a fun thing to say, but I'm the guy that tells people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. So if you want to get ahead in life, you want people to like you, you want to sell products, you want to become famous and social and all that, you got to give people something that they can get out of it for themselves. Because it's ultimately, why does ice cream sell and not broccoli? because it makes them feel good. They get something out of it. Their taste buds get a, a little kick out of it. That's why alcohol and cigarettes and, and, and money, you know, uh, MLM, quick get rich, quick schemes. That's why they keep going and keep selling. That's not the answer, obviously. Those are addictive things. People want a quick fix. But ultimately, people make, that's why billions of dollars are spent on this crap, because people want a quick fix. They want something right now. They want, they want something that makes them feel good. Now, the trick is to give people something that they want, that they get something out of, but it kind of fulfills the short-term gratification a little bit, but ultimately, it helps them long-term. So if it can taste good and give them long-term benefits, great. I unfortunately, I mean, people say, Marcus, you're, you know, there's some people out there who think that I'm, I'm in it for money, you know, my products and stuff. Like if I was in it for money, I wouldn't make stuff that tastes bad. For, for 10 years, most of my products tasted horrible because they worked. And, you know, it was only recently that I started introducing some kind of way of making them taste a little better. But, 
you know, that's how people make money. It's like they, they, they sell candy bars. They sell, you know, soda pops, something, a lot of sugar in it. Uh, so the trick is how do you make something taste sweet without sugar, without bad? I'm, I'm speaking metaphorically here, right? Uh, so if you want to be successful and that's part of life, that's part of health. It's not just, you know, diet and lifestyle and it is part of your lifestyle i guess make it part of your lifestyle to think that way to help people so the next time you open your mouth if you open your mouth you know they they say don't the person that's the most popular is the one that doesn't that says the least they're they're they're, they're they be a listener don't be a talker and when you do open your mouth tell people something that they can get something out of that they can benefit from that's what it boils down to. And when you give them a product, when you give them something, or even if you post something on social media, something as simple as that, give people something they can get something out of. Don't just say, uh, you know, this is what I did today. Look at me. Aren't I great? <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> what, what do they get out of it? You're going to make them jealous? You know, that's the whole thing about social media. People are posting pictures of how great they are and how good they look and all that stuff. Well, that just makes people feel bad about themselves. That, that's not really something they benefit from. Unless you're trying to inspire them to a healthier lifestyle, but then you have to tell them how you got that way and, and what you did to get that way. Now that, that, that's the part that they want to hear. So again, it's not about you looking good to other people. It's about how did you, what did you do to look good? That's what they want. Okay. Am I, am I kind of making sense there? I hope so. So there you go. All right. If you're going to do, put something out there in the world, make it something that people can benefit from. And uh, then you'll be probably better off eventually because you're giving people something of value. And that's the secret of success. And that's part of life and happiness and all that. And, uh, and then you'll be happier. And, you know, the more happy people we have, the better the world is. So, OK, that's it. It's my lecture for today. Hope you got something out of it. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.